Hello everyone, so today I am going to talk about our hackathon, um, what we did and why we did it and why I'm really tired. Um, we're in the last hour of that 24 hour uh, period for the hackathon um, and I probably haven't slept in probably like 36 hours. So uh, bear with me, I probably will say um more than I should. Um, just on that cue. Anyways, our, so our team name was Debug Starts Here. Um, we did a topic on XConnect, and we consisted of myself, Dylan Young, uh, Nisha Magnani, who's located in India, and Babish Mania. Uh, sorry if I pronounced, mispronounced his name. Uh, you can talk to me later about that. Um, but that, that's our core team. Uh, he's from India as well. Um, so what we did was we built a XConnect um, integration with Google Assistant. Um, so for those that don't know what Google Assistant is, it's basically um, this API. Um, it's, I, I must think it's pretty new because uh, I know Google Home came out not too long ago. Uh, we were thinking about doing something with Amazon Alexa. I don't know if that's the official name for that type of app, but the Amazon Alexa skills was what we were looking at, but it looked like there were some people that had already done that. So we ended up on this topic, and actually I, I'm glad we did. Um, although it was probably a massive undertaking that uh, probably caused us to not get everything done that we would have hoped to have gotten done. Um, but the reason we chose this one, uh, not just because it hadn't been done, but also it, it has a lot of potential. Um, we integrated a very small piece or fraction of what's potentially possible with this. Um, so you'll see today that we had a case scenario of that we are a a business that delivers food. Um, it it kind of was used actually quite a lot when you know we were uh, needing food for the office uh, for our hackathon. We were ordering from Delivery Dudes, which is a service that you pick out what you want from around the area and then they'll deliver it to you. So that's kind of the concept that we used for our app uh, just to showcase what is possible. But obviously, like I said, there's a lot of future potential here um, where we can take what was built and extend it. We can extend it to specific clients that have specific needs, or we can extend it potentially to the whole community and build some sort of integration with Sitecore that makes it extremely flexible with um, this, this API. So uh, let's start talking about what we, our case scenario that we built. Uh, the case scenario that we built is, like I said, it's a scenario where somebody's hungry they want some food and they want to kind of order it. Now we didn't go all the way into the implementation of building something that they can order by buying it on this app, but potentially that is also possible. So they could say they could give out their credit card number and it would take that number and send it off. Um, so there's a lot of potential here, like I said, lots of potential. Um, so let's just quickly walk through what is here. Uh, there's intense. Intense is really what, so somebody, so somebody's going to come in this app and say, I want food, uh, essentially, or some variation of that. Uh, the intent is that they want food um, or they want, to, uh, well, it, exactly what I wrote here, want food. Um, I kept it really basic. Um, and then what they, what you can do on these intents is then customize what phrases make up that intent. So it could be a lot of things. I'm hungry. Feed me. I want food. Let me eat something, et cetera. And then there's the responses from that. Um, and they're all, all the ones that we have in this session or in our use case is, is represented here. So there's a welcome, and then there's a lot of things they can say that will trigger certain actions. Now, the ultimate goal of this is that we're going to collect information about that user via this app. But this app doesn't necessarily need to be a chatbot. It could be also a mobile phone. So I don't know if those that have used um, Okay, okay, Google, hopefully it doesn't trigger my phone. Um, did a little bit. Um, those that have used that uh, on their phone um, know how cool that could be because uh, you can interact with it um, and it will do things for you. It can either give, show you information or it can you could theoretically, like I said, pass this data off to XConnect and then to XDB. So that's the intent, that's passing this data off so that then you can do some marketing automation with that. You could personalize, you could do all types of things. You could send uh, stuff with EXM. Um, 
trigger additional actions with the marketing automation. There's a lot of options there um, to be done. But I, like I said, this is a very limited case um, that we can, that you, whoever uses this repository can extend from that. And I plan on doing extensions from this as well down the road. So uh, first is just the intents. Uh, there's some other options here, but I don't wanna go too much into detail. Um, I'm gonna be doing videos in the future now that I know kind of what go goes on in here. I'll do some future videos on this. Um, but if you, the, the area on the right here just allows you to type in phrases. Um, I don't know. And it's just gonna tell you what the response would be. Um, so that way you can start testing out your app. But once you get closer to, you've built kind of a flow for your users, you can start going to, you can go to this Google Assistant and you can start really testing out the full flow. So let's go back to the um, that uh, Google Assistant. I'm gonna refresh this view because I already had something there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trigger this um, agent or yeah, this app or agent. Uh, I think the names are kind of used interchangeably, but um, you're gonna take an action to trigger it. So the, the action is copy set core. Okay, let's get the test version of my test app. Hi, welcome to the debug starts here hackathon app. So it's now talk to me. Um, now I can start talking back to it. It's got a smart chat uh, integration with it. So you could just say, how are you? And it would respond with an intelligent response. But ultimately you're trying to drive that user towards some sort of um, question, question um, um, flow, I guess would be the right for, word for that. So now I want to order food. Let's say, eat me. What type of food do you want? So now it's going to lead me down a path where I answer the questions and it's going to basically collect all this information and at the end it's going to actually pass this data off to XDE. You can also theoretically uh, collect the information as you go and pass it to uh, XBIT, which passes X to B as well. So I can say... Okay, what is your zip code? And now it's asking me where, where am I at? What is your email address? And now I, I ask for my email address. Thank you for your order. And now it's saying thank you. Uh, basically now it's, um, it's completed the transaction, uh, like I said, there could potentially be a further transaction steps here where they ask for credit card information, things like that. Um, one thing to note is the email address I asked for. Uh, this is used so that we can identify that contact in XDB. Uh, that way we can start storing some of these additional fields as uh, additional facets um, in XDB so that we can start collecting more information about our users. So we can start saying, uh, we can say, oh, this is their zip code or um, this person likes Italian food, for example. Um, so that allows us then to personalize on the website side. We can say, oh, identify that user via if they fill a form or, or some other action on the site that takes their email address. And once we know who they are, then we can start saying, oh, well, they like Italian food or they like um, whatever else options there are, um, whatever chat bots you build or a Google system bots you build. And that's pretty much it for this. So lastly, uh, that data gets passed off to XDB and it ultimately ends up in experience profile. Um, so I had some qu quick screenshots of just that. Um, this is common um, functionality. So this would be, um, this is some tests we did earlier today um, where we just filled out those that information and it passed it off to um, XDB via XConnect, and um, now it's in the experience profile. Well, I believe that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to let me know, and uh, I'd be happy to help. Um, or if you're interested in any of this technology um, as a company, uh, please let me know, because uh, it was a lot of fun building it, so um, I would love a test case scenario to do it. So.